Sound is all around us. We experience it as vibrations that travel through a medium, like air or water, reaching our ears. These vibrations have a frequency, which determines the pitch of the sound we perceive. The unit of measurement for this frequency is called Hertz, H's. One Hertz represents one vibration per second. So a sound with a frequency of 440 Hz vibrates 440 times every second. The higher the frequency, the higher the pitch of the sound. Imagine a tiny hummingbird flapping its wings incredibly fast. That rapid vibration creates a high-pitched buzzing sound. Conversely, the slow beat of a drum produces a low-pitched sound due to its lower frequency of vibrations. Understanding Hertz is fundamental to grasping the nuances of musical tuning, including the ongoing debate between 440 HE and 432 HE. In the world of music, tuning is critical. Every instrument in an orchestra, every voice in a choir, needs to be precisely calibrated to create harmony. This is where the debate between 440 hertz and 432 hertz comes into play. These frequencies refer to the tuning of a specific note, the A above middle C, which acts as a reference point for tuning all other notes. Currently, the standard tuning for the note A is 440 hertz. This means that when a tuning fork tuned to this frequency is struck, it vibrates 440 times per second, producing the reference pitch for the A note. All other notes are then tuned relative to this A440. However, some musicians and listeners advocate for tuning to 432 Hz instead. They argue that this slightly lower tuning creates a more relaxing and harmonious sound resonating with natural frequencies found in nature. This debate delves into the subjective experience of music and its potential impact on our well-being. The tuning fork itself is a simple yet ingenious tool. When struck, its two prongs vibrate at a specific frequency, producing a pure tone. This tone serves as the reference point for tuning instruments. Musicians listen carefully, adjusting the tension of their strings or the length of their air columns until their instrument matches the frequency of the tuning fork. The debate between 448Z and 432Hz hinges on the impact of this reference point. Proponents of 432Hz argue that this slightly lower tuning results in a more resonant and pleasing sound while those who favour 440 Hz often cite its brighter and more widely accepted quality. The choice of tuning ultimately influences the overall character of the music. Advocates for 432 Hz tuning often describe it as the natural or cosmic tuning. They claim it possesses a special connection to the frequencies found in nature, such as the vibrations of the earth or the human body. Some even believe that music tuned to 432 Hz has healing properties, promoting relaxation and well-being. The idea of a natural frequency for the A note is rooted in various theories and beliefs. Some proponents point to ancient instruments tuned to a lower pitch than A440, suggesting a connection to a more harmonious past. Others draw connections to mathematical ratios found in nature, associating 432 Hz with specific vibrations or frequencies believed to be beneficial to humans. The golden ratio, often found in nature, is sometimes cited as evidence for the natural harmony of 432 Hz. This ratio, approximately 1.618, appears in the arrangements of petals and flowers, the spirals of galaxies, and even the proportions of the human body. While the scientific evidence supporting these claims is debated, the appeal of 432 HE often lies in its perceived connection to natural phenomena. The idea that music can resonate with the fundamental frequencies of the universe is a captivating one, even if the specific claims about 432 years remain a subject of ongoing discussion.